The Faframe A7R models are Sony's image quality flagship cameras, the A may 9 be the Speed Demon, but the high-resolution, anti-aliasing filter-free A7R series rules Sony's roost when it comes to tonal range, sharpness, color fidelity and other important characteristics that frequently get sacrificed when you're shooting action. After getting to shoot with the A7R III for a bit, I can confirm it narrows the performance gap offering a much faster and more accurate autofocus system, improved processing and a new shutter mechanism to offer a sufficient for most people 10 fps first rate. While Sony claims it ekes out a little more tonal range from the same 42.4 megapixel sensor as the A7RII, that determination will have to wait until IF software to look at the raw images, the JPEGs don't look any better than the A7RIIs, and in fact look a little worse at higher ISO sensitivities. I suspect it's the lens, Sony only provided the 24-105mm 4G US lens it announced at the same time for its shooting event, and I don't think it's a great match for the camera. The camera body can be yours for $3,200 or £3,200 when it ships at the end of November. There's no Australian pricing or availability yet, but it's on Sony Australia's site, so it's definitely coming. The lens is shipping in November for $1,300, £1,200, I can't find Australian pricing for that either, but it converts directly to just under $1,700. Sony also announced the intent to produce a Faframe 400mm f2.8 g master lens for summer 2018, allowing time for professionals to get comfortable with it by the time the IOC's cold weather festivities begin. <laughs>